Hi everyone, in a previous video I demonstrated how to boot your computer from an external hard drive if your SSD fails. Now in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to replace the SSD drive. First off, be warned, this will void the warranty on your MacBook, so do follow the steps at your own risk. I'm not a Mac expert by any means. Great, with that out of the way, you can buy compatible replacement parts from MacSales.com or Amazon.com. I will leave a link in the description below. To match your replacement SSD, go to the Apple symbol on your top menu bar and click the About This Mac. Find your model number, then match this up when ordering. As you can see, mine is a 13-inch 2017 model. Now bear in mind, mine was manufactured in the year 2017, by around the year 2019 you can't replace the SSD as they are soldered onto the motherboard. If your hard drive is still working, it's best to back up the data to an external hard drive. You could use Apple's Time Machine for this. Or if like me, your hard drive is completely fried, there's no need to do this. Ok, let's make a start. Important to note first, before you touch any sensitive computer components, make sure you are earthed. I'll leave a link to how to ground and earth yourself below, another important step. Now make sure your MacBook is shut down, powered off and unplugged. Now the fun part, next we're going to remove all six small screws. For this we use a special P5 Pentalobe 5 star screwdriver. I found a really good screwdriver set for my tech jobs on Amazon, link below. Now there are two different screw sizes here, so it's a good idea to take a piece of paper and mark out six circles, so at the end you know which screws go back into which holes. To remove the case, you'll need a suction tool and a thin plastic tool. Place the suction tool around one third up, you'll find one connector here. Then lever up from the corner, this may take some force. Then switch to the other side, there are four connecting points in total. Two at each end and two in the middle. Now turn the Mac around and check it's clear on both left and right and in the middle. The next step is to slide the Mac cover hinge side downwards. There are also two more sliding points at each end. If one side is firm, try the other first. As you can see, mine took some time to slide out fully. Ok, great job. Wow, this looks fun doesn't it? Look at all that tech. It's ok because there's only two areas for us to work on. The first is where the battery connects to the mainboard. Remove the black plastic strip and place down facing the same way. This will make it easier to put back on later on. Lift the tab up slightly and gently pull the connector to the left. Now take your second screwdriver, the T5, and turn anti-clockwise to remove the screw. Then we lift this metal tab up and the battery is disconnected. That's a very important step to do. Now we use a T5 screwdriver to carefully remove the two screws either side of the SSD. At this stage it's a good idea to remove the black tape. Then we simply lift the edge with a plastic tool. I've got my fingernails slightly under the screw holes and lifted it up. As you can see, ever so slightly we just lift this up and pull it downwards. It will unplug just like a computer card would. Now if you're upgrading or replacing your SSD, it's the same steps in reverse. Just make sure your SSD connectors are facing upwards like this. Then screw the card back down in place. Links to all the parts in my description below. Then make sure you reconnect the battery in the reverse steps as we previously saw and add the black tape back on. Return the back shell and tighten the screws. This may take a bit of force pressing down to click the shell back into place. Now you can reinstall the operating system by pressing Command plus Option plus R and press the Power on button. This will require Wi-Fi to download the Mac operating system. If your files and apps are backed up, you can reinstall these from your external hard drive time machine. There's more information on these final steps in my first video, just click here to the right. I hope you found some value here. Do leave a thumbs up and leave a comment. Bye for now.